What is up guys, back with Speed coming at you. Today we are going to be completing our two-part series on the HTP 50 caliber from Umarex. Yesterday, if you're a fan of the channel, you would know that we did the tabletop review and unboxing. Today is gonna to be getting right into the brass tacks of this and seeing exactly what it does across the crony, exactly what it does accuracy-wise, exactly how it likes both kinds of ammunition that we've been given, and what the terminal effectiveness is on a standardized target, like the eight millimeter thick neoprene yoga mat that we've used for testing in our other less than lethal episodes. The HDS 68 caliber double barrel shotgun from Umarex blew through two layers of the 8mm thick neoprene and still had energy to spare guys. I am very interested to see if this little pistol can match the effectiveness of that 68 caliber HDS on that softer target. Let's get right into it guys. All right guys, we got both kinds of ammunition. We got the HDP 50 caliber, and we got a CO2 power lift that's already charged a system for us. We have our chronograph set up, and we have a hard backstop back there, which means the very first thing that we'll be trying out is these cool inert training rounds, guys. I definitely wanna go ahead and get one across the crony to go ahead and establish the feet per second, and also to fulfill my childish desire for slow motion footage of these practice powder rounds. Let's go ahead and load one up, see what our velocities are, and see what our terminal impact looks like. Good lord, we're almost one short. How clean is the production on that, boys? It is so perfectly encapsulated. I'm really interested to see what this does. All right, guys, now in yesterday's video, you saw you can lock this follower uh, for loading back onto this little detent right here, but because I don't wanna break this single round, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it by hand, load my single powder round in, and then very easily set the follower in place so as not to break that powder round. We already have our crony set up, we already have our system charged, we have everything in order needed to perform our test, so let's get right into it, guys. Umarex HDP 50 caliber, powder training round, fire. Smells like baby powder. Definitely smells like baby powder. 437 feet per second, guys. Let's go ahead and change up our backstop a little bit to make it safe for these rubber balls, and then we'll see exactly what this heavier projectile might do across the crony as well. One thing to note, guys, if the pepper balls atomize in the same way that this baby powder round has, uh, it's gonna be pretty effective at, at creating a good cloud, I would say. Now, obviously, because I don't have pepper balls, I can't test this theory, but by the same token, I am uh, you know, a good solid three feet away from that bullet box there, and it reeks like baby powder in this garage right now. So you kind of get the idea of what the effectiveness would be. Now the rubber balls, I'm actually not worried whatsoever about damaging. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like I said, lock that follower back in place, grab one of these nice rubber balls, these 50 caliber rubber projectiles, dump it right in the magwell, slam the follower shut. We are ready to go at this point. Umarex HDP 50, rubber ball test, fire. 391 feet per second across the crony, guys. Get quite a little impression there in that foam about the depth of the pad of my finger. Now I make that reference guys because of the fact that the HDS 68 caliber double barrel shotgun that I reviewed recently did blow through this gun case and ripped out a big old chunk on the backside and went directly into the second layer here. Did not penetrate all the way through the backside of the gun case, but by the same token, I think it was an objective test because of the fact that the HDP 50 did not penetrate in this case. All right guys, before we take it into the backyard for a little practical accuracy with those powder rounds, I definitely wanna go ahead and give you the dry fire shots per fill on a single CO2 cartridge raw data. I know it's very important to you guys as far as you know how many shots are am I going to go ahead and get from a CO2 cartridge. Now I don't I don't have my crony set up because I have a very limited amount of ammunition, so I won't be watching a shot curve. I won't be watching a shot string, but I'll be kind of listening for it. And when that shot starts to taper off auditorily, you kind of hear the power drop off. That's where I'm going to go ahead and effectively cut the string. So let's go ahead and get right into this, guys. HDP 50 shot string. starting to hear it. Now 
That's cool. I'm really starting to kind of hear the pitch drop off now. Yeah, it's starting to definitely sound differently. Let's go ahead and verify the fact that the CO2 cartridge is pretty much spent by opening up this small compartment here that houses it and seeing exactly what kind of a charge we have left on the power lip. Sounded like about a half full power lip. Um, it's interesting that it sounded as if it was getting weaker. I know CO2 kind of has the habit of, you know, the, the colder the system gets, the less the performance is of whatever it is that you're working with. But honestly, without the crony being set up, we won't know until we really get some new ammunition online. Good to go, guys. This is really, really, really easy comparatively to my HDS 68 caliber. Honestly, the HDS 68 takes a little bit more of a manly bump than the uh, HDP 50 seems to. This is very easy to pierce. I'm not sure if, like I said yesterday, it's the uh, you know fitment of the Umarex cartridges and the Umarex products or what, but this definitely charges nicely when I give her the bump. All right, guys, definitely think we learned some interesting stuff today, and I think that the truth has been revealed as far as the HDP 50 caliber. I really think that the dynamic that weaponizes this specific marker is those pepper balls, guys. The rubber balls that came with this are marketed as practice training rounds, which means the actual effective round is, in Umarex's mind, the pepper ball. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video yesterday, guys, I am not allowed to receive pepper balls in the mail in the state of California. Super great, right? So for this specific offering, with the ammunition that I have available to me, I definitely think that this would be more of a training for engagement, not the prepared to protect acronym that sits on the box, guys. I definitely think that this could hone your skills as far as what you might do in an engagement where you need to protect yourself, but I wouldn't necessarily rely on this as far as an everyday carry personal defense weapon. I know the haters in the comments are probably going to blow up and say, oh, you know, that rubber ball leaves quite the mark. But 
by the same token, I think that the intended usage for this is a chemical agent like that spicy air that comes in most states' offerings of this specific pistol. All right, guys, I think it's a great place to end the episode, but if you like today's episode, give it a thumbs up. You wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.